The topic of this video is finding the domain of a rational function. Rational functions consist of one polynomial divided by another polynomial. They come in two acceptable forms, standard form and factored form. Standard form, with an example shown here, function g of x, consists of terms that are being added or subtracted. For example, this x to the fourth term and this 256 term have a subtraction sign in between them. The other acceptable form for rational functions is factored form. There's an example shown here with function h of x. Notice that the numerator and denominator consist of factors that are being multiplied. The factor 4x squared plus x, for example, is being multiplied by the factor x squared minus x minus 42. There are three factors in the denominator as well. Now, how do we find the domain of a rational function? We follow these four steps. To find the domain of a function defined by an equation, perform these four steps. Step one, start with all real numbers. Step two, if the equation contains any even index radicals, keep only the inputs that make the radicand greater than or equal to zero. Step three, if the equation contains any logarithms, keep only the inputs that make the argument greater than zero. Step four, if the equation contains any fractions or division, Remove any numbers that make any denominator or divisor zero. It's important to note that rational functions cannot have even index radicals or logarithms, so only steps one and four are needed to find the domains of a rational function. 